Hey guys, uh, today I'll be doing a video on uh, this rig that I'll be using this weekend at a, at a local creek. Um, it's a drifting rig, but it's not float fishing, it's off the bottom. So I'll just share that with you today. And, alright, so let's start this up. So, the first thing, well, the things you'll need are a couple... Uh, two, preferably two, uh, oh, got a text, um, two split shots, small little split shots, two of them. You'll need a, a bell sinker, uh, depending on the, how, uh, how the current is in the creek or harbor, you'll be wanting to use, uh, uh, just a bell sinker, whatever size, um, and you'll and you'll need a. I use for rainbows size eight or ten hook. Uh, it's a good size. I don't really feel it, and I'll just uh, uh, put it on with a floating row bag. All right. So let's start this up. Okay, guys. So what you're gonna want to do is grab your line. And just cut off a couple a couple feet at a time, just to see. And once it gets stronger, when you cut it with your teeth, then you know it's uh, strong enough. All right, so just do that for a couple feet, and just so your line doesn't snap when you're fighting uh, with your your big rainbow. All right, so just keep doing that for a bit. Don't worry, you'll have lots of line. Alright, it's getting tough now. Alright, so after you find that it's tough enough, you're going to want to grab your little hook. And I do a, a Palomar knot. It's much easier and it's faster, especially when it's cold outside. You're not doing like one of those trilene knots and you're, uh, and you're taking up a lot of time so you can't even feel your fingers, right? So, tie your Palomar knot, and just get that down. Okay guys, so after you have your Palomar knot tied, you want to grab your bell sinker and slide it over the hook and pull and just set it and just put it at a, uh, just whatever uh, height you want the hook to float so you have that there then you want to grab your split shots and open them up and place them right before the weight so right there see that? that's one Then. You want to grab another one. Um, and grab another one. Now put it right beside that that same split shot. And remember, when when you're doing this, remember when you put your split shots on, don't use a uh, don't use pliers. Uh, because it'll it'll uh, put like nicks in the line, so you just want to put them in, just squeeze them with your hands, and maybe just squeeze it lightly with your teeth to just to keep it in place. So it'll look like that, and then your hooks down here, down here, and then here's your weight. So let that slide because it won't be able to go anywhere when it sits. So just sit like that, and there that will be floating. All right, guys. Uh, so you'll be uh, these like this rig is good for. Uh, drifting, uh, still fishing. Still fishing, you just want to put a heavier weight to keep it down. And uh, but uh, for drifting, you want to put on a nice light weight so it drifts. And uh, you want to use a floating reel bag for this type of rig. Um, but if you're drifting, you want to use uh, a non-floating reel bag so it just kind of flies everywhere with the current. Um, but if there's no current, uh, you you'll want to put a floating reel bag. So. Um, 
Alright guys, so I hope this uh, rig helped you, and uh, you'll be catching trout, uh, big trout, uh, like rainbow steelhead, same thing, um, brown salmon, it's all good for those. Alright guys, so um, thanks for watching, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.